हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक इनटू दैट कीपिंग एपीआई की एट अ सिक्योर प्लेस सो फर्स्ट थिंग लेट्स गो टू अवर कांस्टेंट फाइल एज ऑफ नाउ वी आर कीपिंग अवर एपीआई की इन द कांस्टेंट फाइल बट कीपिंग एपीआई की इज इन अ कांस्टेंट फाइल विद इन योर एप सोर्स कोड इज रिस्की एंड कैन लीड टू अनऑथराइज एक्सेस टू अवर सर्विसेज If the key is in our code base, anyone with access can see it, and even hidden keys can be extracted from the compiled app. Or accidentally pushing your code to the public repository like GitHub can expose the keys to the public. Even if you remove the keys later, they can still be found in the version control history. One way to manage API keys. more securely in an android project is to use the build.gradle file to define keys and access them via build config let's cut this api key from here and go to this build script and here we have this file local.properties so here we can keep our api key now next thing we need to make sure that this file don't go to that version control for that here let's go to this project directory and we have this git.ignore file so here we specify all those file which we don't want to go to that public repository so here we have already specified that this file should not go to that github repository so let's close this and go back to our android directory now next thing how we can access this api key in our app so first thing we need to go to this module level build.gradle and here in this default config block after this we will specify first thing we need to create the value of this properties so here this java.util now with the help of this properties value we have this function load so here let's specify our file so this is how we specify the file so here we are saying that we need to go to this project directory then this root project and there we will have this file with the name of this local dot property and then we will get the input stream of that file now let's define our build config field so here we need to provide these three things first thing type will be the string and the name will be the an splash api key so here with the help of this properties we are getting this property let's make sure that the name is correctly so here let's copy it and paste it here and here also so here we have defined our build config field so now let's sync our gradle file so here it has been synced so let's close this and this one also here we need to make the reference of this api key so here let's use this build config right now we can see that it is not accessing that build config field for this thing we need to first build our project let's just rebuild our project it is showing error it is saying that we need to add this build config to true so let's go back to our build.gradle file and here we have this build feature block here we can say build config to true again let's sync our project so it has been synced now let's rebuild our project again so it has been rebuilt so let's 
now reference our api key so here let's use this build config when we place dot then we have this unsplash api key this is how we keep our api key securely in android projects